Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. We're going to do the solo to Fragile today. We took a look at all the chords and the rhythms um, in the last lesson. So now we're going to do uh, Sting's a really killer solo. So the entire time though, I'm just showing you a little bit about this technique I'm using. It's called a rest stroke. Now I have a nylon string guitar. You can choose to use a rest stroke or just a regular, just a normal finger style, which is called a free stroke. But basically what a rest stroke is, is you're, the string that you're going to be picking, you pick it and then you let your finger rest into the next string. So just using, just between your index and middle finger, you see how it's coming to rest on the string right above it. Now by doing that, it really makes sure you push the string downwards is what it does, and it gives you a really big fat warm sound uh, used a lot in like flamenco music and stuff so yeah, I'm sure you've heard the sound before but if you want it to sound like sting is you want to do a rust stroke all right so you can practice that and then let's we'll get the notes underneath our fingers we're going to start here kind of like the intro of the song all right so that's the fifth fret on the B and then the pull off from seven to five on the high E string and picking the seven again now we have a longer phrase. All right, so that's the fifth fret again on the B, and then pull off again from seven to five. Then shift up to the seventh fret, seven, eight, ten. Then seven, and then it slides down to five. You barely hear that slide though. Next phrase. So that's just between the 5, 7, and 8 on the B string. So it's 8, 5, 7, 8, 5, 7, and resolve down to 5. So, so you hear a lot of dynamics. Sometimes he's playing the notes really lightly, and sometimes he's really digging in. You can hear the guitar, the string kind of pop against the fret. All right, now we have a, a longer run. Sounds like this. It's really nice. So we have five, seven, eight on the B, five, seven, eight on the high E. Shift up to the tenth fret with your little finger. Then seven, eight on the high E. Ten the B. Seven on the high E then back to 8 on the B, then to 10. Pick it a couple times and slide it into the 12th fret. I'm going to let that ring and just uh, kind of hit it a couple times. So we have that whole run. Some nice vibrato in there. Next phrase. So that's that you kind of play that 12th fret a couple times and come up and play it with your first finger, then roll over to the 12th fret on the high E string, then 14, 15, back to 14, and 12. All right, now picking a little bit closer to the neck of the fretboard also makes it gives it that kind of warmer sound. Next phrase. So that's 14, 15, 14, 
twelve eleven. Then pull off twelve to eleven and twelve a few times. Now this is when the whole chord progression starts over. Let me play what we have so far. So when the progression starts over, you gotta wait till beat three. It's like one, two. So this next phrase is started on beat three, just so you'll know where it is. So that's pulling off seven to five on the high E, and then eight. And then quick little two note, five on the high E to four, I mean to eight on the B. Then we have a 7, 5, 7 on the B, then 8, 5, 7 on the high E. So it's like, kind of 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Then 8, 7, 5 on the B, another little group of 3. So we have this, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And then come back up with that 5, 7, 8. Up to 10, a couple times. That's kind of like, kind of not in a straight group of three. And then we have this. All right, so that's another little roll here. You're gonna start at the ninth fret on the B, to the nine on the G, 12 on the G, 11 on the G. Now you got that 11 now. Now get ready, we're gonna, Pick that note, hammer on 12, hammer, pull back off to 11, and pull off to 9. So it's this little four note phrase there. All right, next phrase. All right, so we got some octaves there. We have the ninth fret on the G. So we're kind of doing that, but up here, ninth fret on the G, pulling off 12 to 10 on the B. Back to that 12 to 13 a couple of times, and now you're going to grab the octave of that C that you got there. So it's a C here, 10th fret on the B of the D string, and you're going to pick it a couple times. Side the whole octave now down to the uh, ninth fret. This stays with it too. Down to seven, five, and down to four. It's so important to be real delicate with it too. And then we have the ending phrase. And then the, the chorus comes back in. So that's just five on the B, seven, five on the high E, eight, five, then seven, eight, three times, and then seven, five. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. It is a beautiful song, so it's really fun to play. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.